So I've got a 90s flavoured underground house track on the go here and what I want to do is to bring back that old school cut up vocal effect and this is something that was very much a part of that sound back in the day. We can do it very easily by taking a vocal that's sung and then slicing it up and putting it on the Groove Agent 1 using the hit points. So let's get it. I've got a vocal here and you may recognise this if you've done the first Cubase course. I'm going to show you. Now one thing about this is that the original vocal that we've been supplied is really hot, I mean really loud, so you can see it's been quite heavily compressed. This is going to make the hit points engine struggle a little bit, so I'm going to turn it on so we can have a look, bring the threshold on, and uh, you know when I'm adjusting this you can see that it doesn't take long to pick out these because they're all so loud, and uh, it doesn't look as if it's picking up some elements. So I'm going to go through, let's have a look. Let's click on edit hit points. Let's have a listen to these. So you can see we're missing some there. Let's go to push the alt key. We're going to keep those together. This one, maybe move it over. It's quite nice like that. Just wondering about moving this over a bit. A bit more percussive with the me. This one, move it over a touch. I'm going to zoom in so we get more scope for doing that. That's good. That, I think, we're going to need to bring this over. We could add another one, but uh, I think it's sometimes quite nice to have two textures that go from one to another. Wondering about taking this one out, so holding down shift. Yeah, I'll keep that as it is. That's a good little one. I'm going to move this over. These things don't have to make any sense. You know, we can use these almost like musical instruments, just little vocal triggers. Yeah, I think that's working there. Let's move this over. I'll leave that as, I don't think that's going to be really very good for the track. We'll see. That's quite an interesting, almost like a hi-hat. Right, this mem of memory I think could work well. So alt, add a hit point. Let's put another one in here. Maybe take this one out. Yeah, pretty good. And that's a really good, another like a hi-hat kind of flavor. Okay, let's move this one over. Let's add another one in there. I reckon we can get another one here as well. I like the split with the two there. That's good. We've got to split this one up though. Zoom in on that one. You've got to get the F, which is probably somewhere over here. Another one here. That's not so good, that bit there, just uh, immediately before the me, but the me potentially is good. Yeah, so you can see there, we've picked out some elements to bring through into the Groove Agent 1. We're going to create the slices. And we just need to load the Groove Agent 1 now. And because all of these will go through the same output, I'm just going to load one up as an instrument track. We don't need multiple outs here, so we're going to go drum, Groove Agent 1. Open it up. Let's take that solo off. 
going to drag this onto the first drum pad and let's just have a look see what we got if we put that on top of the track you know this is where you just sort of improvise and just play stuff just see if there's anything that comes through that could work and if it does work you record it and then move on to another little pattern we're trying to create sort of little hooky riffs with the vocals let me take off the uh, original vocal Okay, I'm going to record that. So just trying to get a little bit of variety in there. Um, the second one was cool. Seems we've lost the bass. Um, even though the instrument is there on this particular project, it's happened to me before. I've had to basically reload it. So I'm not going to do that just now. Let me focus on this one. Okay, that section there I think works. Let me just get all of these velocities maxed up. And uh, there's a double hit here. Let's delete that. The other thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to set them all, come down to functions, fixed lengths. And that's just to keep it tidy. These are working and triggering the Groove Agent 1 samples at the moment. And they are in one shot mode. Okay, so it doesn't actually matter physically about the length. It's not going to have an impact, but it just means it's nice and tidy in that window. Just to bring this over here. So that could be a section to include in the track. And then we try to find some others to work on other parts of the tune. So let's just have a listen again. Because there is an inconsistency in the level, what we would do is we'd just drop in a, a compressor on there. Probably go to about four to one. Just just really just grab this take it release faster I'll take up the soft knee as well Just going to slow the attack here just to make it slightly more punchy. So there we go, that's the concept. And you know, you can see there what we do is we experiment, we jam on top, see what comes out. Initially, you know, you start off by slicing up the audio, sticking it onto the Groove Agent 1 so that you can trigger it using the MIDI.